Carol Karayuki, CEO of Kepsa. Uh, pleasure to be speaking to you with you today. Um, Carol, first of all, uh, just from a personal point of view, I think we both came back at the same time. Uh, yeah. for, you were in North America, uh, you came back to Kepsa, mm -hmm. now you're running the show. Tell us a little bit firstly about okay. Kepsa. About mm -hmm. Kepsa. Yeah. So Kepsa is the uh, umbrella body of the private sector in Kenya. It really brings together the whole private sector, the associations, the different sector associations, uh, Kenya Association of Manufacturers, Federation of Kenya Employers, and all the other different associations together, but also the corporates. And so we have a reach of about five, more than 500,000 members across the country, both local and foreign investors in the country, but also big and small. Yes. So many times people don't see the small ones, but they are very involved. They, the small innovators, the Mamambogas, they have an yes. association. Yes. So all they, those they have a voice in they Kepsa. Do, they do. Yes. Yeah. And you've been playing a big role. I mean, think you have a Kepsa roundtable with the president. Uh, the, it's, it seems that you really have a lot of high-level buy-in. Do you want to just briefly touch on that? So the way we work, our yes. mandate is really the continuous business environment of the country for yes. the investors. Yes. And so we have structured engagement with government because instead of having ad hoc where there's a problem, then we run to government, we have established structures. Mm -hmm. So the highest structure is the presidential roundtable. Yes. And then with that, then before that, we meet with the ministers with what we call the Ministry of Stakeholder Forums. And the different sectors are organized around sector boards in Kepsa. They work on their issues and the policies they want to see changed and acts and all that. And then they meet with the ministers, we try and resolve as much as possible. And then the president is able to get a brief of what's happening, but also resolve the issues that only him can resolve. But we also have the same structures with parliament, yes. with, through what we call the speakers roundtable. That also meets once a year, but before that we meet with the committees of parliament and work on the different agendas of parliament. So we do have that. We also have with the council of governors, because now we are a devolved system, so we do meet also the governors and work the same way. But we also meet with the, the chief justice because of commercial disputes. And uh, right now we are lucky that uh, Kepsa is hosting what is called the International Chamber of Commerce, Kenya, yes. which is mandated uh, internationally to resolve um, commercial disputes and all that. So we are doing that. So that's really a brief of uh, our structured engagements, apart from all the different engagements with the different agencies, KRA and all that. Yes. And what is, what is your mandate? What are you trying to achieve? Are you trying to create more jobs? Are you trying to, what are you trying to do? It's, that's true. We're trying to create more jobs and yes. wealth for the country. Yes. And no, the country can't survive without jobs and can't survive without revenue. We're talking about infrastructure and all that. Mm -hmm. That revenue comes from the private sector. And yes. so for us, the, the, how the private sector is doing in the country determines where we are going economically. And so a vibrant private sector, a private sector that's growing, that means there are more jobs and there's more wealth for the country. And so that's my work every day to see that the private sector is thriving in the country. Now, tomorrow uh, we're participating uh, with this very big event. Uh, I believe you're in partnership with uh, UNCTAD in bringing Jack Ma here to Nairobi. Tell us a little bit about this event and your, your uh, Kepsa's position in it and what you're trying to get out of it. So um, we've had a good relationship and a long relationship with UNCTAD. Yes. Uh, when UNCTAD 14 was held here, we did have a CEO's breakfast. Uh, where we brought uh, Dr. Mukisa Kitui just to really meet with the CEOs and really w uh, talk about what's really UNCTAD 14 about and how do we participate as a country, how do we improve our trade and our exports and all that. And so it's out, out of that relationship that we, we felt we need to continue to do more. And so when UNCTAD approached Kepsa and said, can we host another CEOs roundtable? Yes. But this time we'll be hosting the richest man from China, yes. Jack Ma. And that was very exciting. That was in March this year. Yes. And so we've been preparing for that and the day is tomorrow. And we've held um, a lot of big investors in this country. Yes. Those who come with presidents, whether President Obama and all the others, we've, we've hosted them. Yes. And so for us, even hosting just an investor away from the presidents and all that is very, very exciting. And so we're really looking forward. Yes. Um, the event is sold out. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So there's yes. so much interest. Uh, but it's, it's exciting. And yes. I think for, for us, what's also so very exciting, we've been encouraging business to say it's election time in Kenya but investment shouldn't stop. The economy shouldn't stop. The economy should be separated from the politics of the day. And so Jack Ma being in the country is rubber stamping that same message. Fantastic. Now, you know, Jack, obviously, I was reading through his story, raised $60,000, created this Alibaba company, which is now cap market cap is $377 billion. 
like seven times our GDP. What do you want to see Jack excite amongst your stakeholders? What, is, what, are, you, what are you looking for him to do? Open their eyes or what, what exactly? Um, challenge them. Yes. And, and I like what Jack says, that uh, he's not among the innovators. Yes. That was 20 years ago. Yes. Those were the Facebooks and the others. He's the entrepreneurs. Yes. You Tell know, us that difference. The, the difference is uh, that those who were the innovators who came up with all these uh, new ideas, yeah. but there are those people who've taken out those ideas and turned them to business. Yes. And that's what Jack Ma has done. Mm. You know, he's turned what was ideas of uh, the whole um, digital disruption yes. to really a business and as you're saying seven times the GDP of Kenya and so that's what I want him to challenge the Kenyans to say you know what what's Africa waiting for yes. you know we have all these innovations we keep priding ourselves as Kenya yes. you know the land of innovation the land of M-Pesa but beyond that yes. you know what are we really waiting for because the jobs are not the same yes. you know we can't sit here and say you know what Asia waited for the manufacturing jobs to leave Europe and North, North America to come and so they benefited and they got the jobs yes. and we can't sit here and say now we're waiting for the jobs from Asia no it's a fourth industrial rev uh, revolution which means it's a time of technology and internet and so the jobs are different yes. and so that's a thinking I hope that the Kenyans will be left with and that the Kenyans can turn already a vibrant innovation uh, spirit to really business and create yes. the jobs that we need. And why Kenya? Why, 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 why Kenya for Jack Ma? What is, what is um, the thinking mm, there? I think there are, there are several things yes. that, um, that Kenya has that, that's going for us. One is this openness to business, unlike maybe some of our neighbors. You know, many people want to go to Ethiopia, there's a lot of resources and all that, but it's not as open to business as we, as we are. You can't even repatriate your, 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 your profits and all that out of, uh, out of Ethiopia. But also, we're the gateway to Africa. If you really look at where we sit in the map, really at the center of the map, but by the sea. Yes. You know, so that makes us the most favorable country for anyone who wants to come to Africa and go to any part. It's almost five hours to each end of Africa. Yes. You know, that makes it very, very exciting for us. But then we are the land of innovation. Mm. If you're looking at Africa and you are an innovator or someone who takes innovations and turns them to business, you want to come to Kenya because there's so much innovation. There are all these things that have come out after M-Pesa that are yes. so exciting. And I think that's what Jack Ma and others are looking into. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much, Carol. We look forward to tomorrow. I look forward to tomorrow. <laughs> it's a, I think it will be exciting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.